I encourage you to close your eyes, come to that place where you start to focus your thinking and your intention on engaging with the Father, engaging Jesus, engaging unconditional love. It might help to slow your breathing down, begin to relax, start thinking and focusing on God who is love. Breathe in deeply the unconditional love of the Father. As you breathe in slowly, as you open up your heart, open up your mind, open up your whole being, let unconditional love flow over you, let it rest on you, be saturated in it, and let it flow through you, let it penetrate. Let it be absorbed into you. Be still. Be still and let God love on you. Let him reveal that truth to you. Love. Unconditional love. Touching your heart. Touching your mind every part of your soul be still and truly know God as unconditional love be still hear God speak to you be still and know that I am unconditional love Be still and know that I am unconditional love. Let those words sink in. Be still and know that I am unconditional love. Be still and know that I am abundant joy. Be still and know that I am abundant joy. Be still and know that I am overwhelming peace. Be still and know that I am overwhelming peace. Be still and know that I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am limitless grace and I am unconditional love and triumphant mercy. If you know that there are things in your past that hold you back, things that you still feel guilty over, things that you still can't forgive yourself for, or you can't let go, just invite love, joy, and peace to fill you, to flow over you, to flow in you, to touch every particle of your being with unconditional love. And as that love fills you, it can't be contained within you. Let it flow out of you like rivers of living water, creating an atmosphere to live in of rest. That you can bring that rest to others. That you can bring that joy and peace to others. Feel the unconditional love flow through your whole being. Be still. Be still. Let God's love now touch you. Touch you in those areas that was never touched before. 
heal you in those areas that have never been healed before. Free you in those areas that have kept you in bondage to works. You're in a safe place. Heaven is open. The Father desires that you would enter into his very heart. Come face to face in love. Find that place of restored innocence. In the realm of light. Bathe in the radiance of the light that's coming from him. From his face. A light of love. the light of truth. Let that go into deeper levels of your very being. Don't hold back through fear. Let go. Trust. Trust in God's goodness. Trust in God's mercy. You can just live loved, free from guilt, free from shame, free from condemnation. All your old rags, your dirty rags of your own self-righteousness, let it go. Let him put new clothes on you, the new ring of sonship on you, just as the prodigal came, the father didn't look at what he'd done. The father celebrated his return and rejoiced to celebrate that that which was lost has been found. Let your identity be restored so you can live in that place of love then you can love living, enjoy the joy of life. Live loving. Be merciful. Choosing to forgive and release all things. Rest in love, joy and peace. Wait in that place. Be open to go deeper and deeper and deeper into love. you struggle to believe let him impart to you right now his faith his faith to believe who you truly are to believe the vast sum of his thoughts about you to believe that you are the apple of his eye the treasure of his heart you are precious precious to him you are uniquely wonderfully made you're special let that truth be imparted to your hearts right now 
Let him give you that ability to receive it freely, without cost. Embrace the reality. Receive all that you need. Because he has an abundance, exceedingly abundantly beyond all that you ask or think or even dream. Let him expand your conscious reality to go beyond into the lavishness and abundance of his unconditional love, limitless grace and triumphant mercy. If you're in that place, just rest there. Just stay there as long as you want. You can't exhaust the depths of it. There's always deeper places to go into God's love. 